Hey guys, this is Scott with Daily Crypto News today. Uh, just doing this one myself. Poor Vivin is feeling sick today. So I thought I'd go over a few articles today, not as many as we typically do. We usually go over six articles and go over the trade analysis. I haven't uh, gone through all that in CoinGecko today. So we're just going to keep this fairly short today, you guys, but I still hope you enjoy the news. I kind of got a kick out of finding these articles today. So I'm just going to go through a few of them with you. So this first interesting article was through Cointelegraph. Just 1.3 million Bitcoin left circulating on crypto exchanges. 6.3% of total Bitcoin supply is left on exchange wallets, according to a new analysis by CryptoRank. In glad tiding for an orange Christmas, Bitcoin supply is drying up to lows not seen for years. In a recent tweet by CryptoRank, just 6.3% of the total Bitcoin supply, or 1.3 million Bitcoin, is held on cryptocurrency exchange. The decreased supply is nothing new, trending down since the Bitcoin halving in 2020, when the BTC block reward was cut in two. BTC availability on exchange followed suit, slowly trending down over the past year. Exchange wallets accounted for 9.5% of the BTC supply in October 2020, just before the 2020 Christmas all-time highs and 7.3% in July this year. Now, the interesting part I find about this is I have a feeling sometimes that this correlates to the whales, and it also correlates to people that are doing future trading and that future trading is super volatile. I have a feeling that people uh, might have been impacted pretty strongly when Ethereum and Bitcoin uh, got hit. I don't feel like these exchanges are the best place to be betting cryptocurrency in the end. So I think we're going to kind of see a little bit of a pullback from that uh, versus before. Uh, another interesting article that I found, uh, this article is with investing.com. It's about a website called Uholder has become the one-stop shop for crypto holders. The cryptocurrency market has witnessed an unprecedented growth in 2021, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. According to CoinGecko, which counts almost 12,000 cryptocurrency coins, the overall crypto market value hit $2.3 trillion as of December 17, 2021. Now, of course, we know that has dropped a little bit since then, but uh, one such project is the U-Holder, a fintech platform that offers crypto-backed lending services. Now, I find this kind of interesting because what they're doing is they're offering loan projects, a uh, loan project which offers users opportunity to get loans in euro, USDT, uh, CHF, GD, GBP, stable coins, or crypto, and withdraw instantly to credit cards and personal banks. You can use the top 40 coins as collateral for crypto loans with the highest loan to value ratio of 90%. Now, why I get a kick out of this, and the loan duration ranges from seven days, 30 days, 61 days, and 180 days. One Bitcoin collateral fetches a loan of $41,513.65 USD. Now, what I find about that, which I find funny, is when people are taking a loan such as that, it truly is high risk for a person. If they were to invest it, to say, into another cryptocurrency in hope of gains and the markets go down, of course, they're going to lose that money. That's like a pawn shop uh, for cryptocurrency. So, I mean, it's a great idea. Don't get me wrong. The people that are probably uh, taking advantage of the service are taking a high risk. But for the company itself, it's hugely beneficial. And I'm sure they're making a fair amount of money by doing it as well. Another great article that I read today was on the Dogecoin Foundation. The Dogecoin Foundation, a nonprofit organization behind the meme based cryptocurrency Dogecoin, is working on a staking mechanism in collaboration with the Ethereum co founder Vitalik Buterin. The foundation on Thursday released its Dogecoin trail map or a dog walk that the Dogecoin Foundation is committed to exploring and which it believes will contribute to Dogecoin success. As part of the trail map, the Dogecoin Foundation is working with Butrin on building a uniquely Doge proposal for a community staking version of proof of stake. Such a version would allow Dogecoin users to stake their Doge and get extra tokens for supporting the network. I think that's kind of stepping away from the mining just like Ethereum did 
It, it is really a brilliant idea and I hope that it continues in that direction. I think we need to see a lot of that uh, in cryptocurrency. So it's, it's not the only place uh, that is moving towards uh, proof of staking. So I really do like it. And the last article is on Coinbase CEO sued over allegedly stealing a blockchain startup's work. CEO of Coinbase Crypto Exchange, Brian Armstrong, has been served with a lawsuit accusing him of stealing the work of startup called Knowledger. Blockchain accelerator Mouse Belt Labs has recently filed a complaint against Coinbase CEO, Brian Armstrong, in California Supreme Court. The complaint comprises the blockchain accelerator accusing Armstrong of falsely stealing the work of one of its projects. Now, this is interesting. They're already saying falsely stealing the work of one of its projects by pretending to be an investigator, an investor in disguise. The lawsuit alleges that Armstrong offered to invest in Knowledger, a platform used to distribute scientific papers with tokens offered as incentives to steal private information from the platform. Now, if that's true, and this uh, was actually on CryptoSlate.com, the actual article itself, I um, can't tell you who the writer is, but I mean, when they when they say falsely accuse, that's already setting that prerogative that they're accusing him wrongly. Well, where's the proof? Like, you need to see both sides of the story and if the CEO went in and did that. But the other thing too that you need to look at, did these guys have any kind of uh, patents, anything in place to protect themselves. They can say that he went in and did this, but what if his uh, idea is different than theirs? He didn't like the idea that they were going with and his own idea is better. Of course, that's not really stealing information. He might have liked some of the stuff they did or something different about it, but it doesn't mean he stole it and their his idea could be totally different. So it'll fall down to the courts and what people think. Uh, Coinbase said they'll be able to uh, prove that uh, this information is false, but until it's been proven false, of course, you can't say it's true or false. So I find that kind of funny that the article did that. Um, I'm going to try and switch to trading view here and just see if we can have a look at the market today. Ooh. What? I haven't done it in a while. I think I'm going to look at the overall market cap. According to uh, CoinMarketCap, it's still at $2.3 trillion and it's cusping towards 2.4 right at the minute. So, I mean, that's a great sign. Dominance of Bitcoin is at 40.6 and Ethereum is at 20.4. So, I mean, we are edging up, I believe, from what we discussed yesterday. So that's a good sign towards Christmas. Uh, now, they were saying in the one article I was reading today that they're worried about the price of Bitcoin. But honestly, if I go look at the price of Bitcoin right now, because they said it hit 32 and then went down. So people were upset or worried about it. But in the end, is there really anything to worry about? After it hits a certain point, Bitcoin always does go down a little bit. It is still up uh, 0.18 of a percent right now. It's sitting at that 50,928 mark. So as long as it keeps above that 50,000 mark, I think we'll probably still be okay. But just keep an eye on the markets, you guys. Stay positive. Enjoy Christmas. Enjoy the time with your family. That's what Christmas is about, everyone. Enjoy your holiday. Um, spend time with family when we can with COVID going on the way it's going on. You never know if we're not going to be able to gather like we used to. So just remain positive. Uh, research, learn, grow. That's what cryptocurrency is about. I appreciate the time that you're taking with me today. It means a lot. And we will be talking again on Monday. Enjoy the holidays. It was really great talking to you guys. As always, I always look forward to the news Monday to Friday. It's fun for me to attend. And I just really enjoy talking about what's going on in the market. 
So hopefully we can, or we will be talking again on Monday. And by that time, hopefully Vivian's back and feeling better. But have a wonderful day and we'll be talking soon. Bye for now.